Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how can we use track overflow. I hope you may guys wondering is it necessary to create video like this? My answer is of course it is necessary. As a beginner you should know about the stack overflow. Here we are going to see how to ask question from the stack overflow and how to answer the question from the stack overflow and finally how to search your question from the stack overflow. This is absolutely for beginners and let's move into the topic. So this is a stack overflow homepage. Here you can able to see all the recent question which is asked from the user. So in order to ask the question we should have to look into the site but in order to view the question and the search question we no need to look into the site. First we are going to see the question structure here. I just randomly going to click one question. Yeah I going to click this one. So this is the question and this is the question description here. He added one programming part and he added all the description here and he added two tags here right so if you hover the mouse over the flutter you can able to see this flutter tags watch by 56 thousand people and dart tag watch by 23 thousand people right so this is the person who is asked the question so if you edit the question your name will come here and this is the answer right this answer is posted by peter and you can see so as a user so as a login user if you think this is correct question and ask in well structured format you can vote the question like this right see if you vote the question you can see this is aditya right so before i vote it if i refresh this page his point will going to increase by 10 let's see see his point increase by 10 you can bookmark this question right so if you bookmark this question so after i bookmark this site i just click i come to my profile and click bookmarks so here this is a question before i bookmark it right so i just un bookmark this one and refresh you can see this is disappeared right if you think this answer is correct answer you can vote this one but Actually, I didn't read this question, so I just what I want to do is I just unticked and unticked the question as well, right? So you have to choose your words very correctly because some people cheating inside to get high points. Because of these tags in the right side, see the same tags famous question, right? So now just click one question here. So you can able to see here right that green tick right so which means the person who asked the question he only can tick this is the correct answer for his question right i have the similar use case i asked one question five months ago right so this is question view by 88 times and i asking about the memory leak right so actually three days before right you can able to see right three days ago one person answer to my question right so i am thinking this is a correct answer so i only can able to see this option which is called correct answer right so if i accept this answer this will come like green tick then i want to vote this one because he spent time to answer this question right so if i tick this is the correct answer i will get two points right so if i click here you can see so this is a two points I am getting because I mark this answer as a correct answer, right? So after that, you can able to see in order to, if I mark this question as a correct answer, he will get 10 points. If you think this is a worst answer, you can download as well, right? He did a good job. So I don't want to hurt this person. So now I am going to that stack of the homepage. So here in the left side, you can able to see questions. After I click the questions, you can see here two million questions, right? Before ask the question, you have to check that question is already exit in the stack of law or not, right? So just click filter. So I want to search the questions in Android tag. And at the same time, I want to check in the constant layout, right? constraint and write constraint layout right so if i apply filter 
I can able to see all the question which is related to the two tags, right? Console layout we use in top flat corner and some other questions as well, right? So here I have to use the filter, right? Sort us by newest and recent activities and most words. So I just click most words and apply filter. You can see this question voted by 253 people and this is the correct answer, right? Just click this question and see this question voted by 253 people, right? So the person who asked the question, he tick this one as a correct answer, right? And he post the answer very well. That's why he ticked as a correct answer and so many people upvote this question, right? Here are the answers as well, right? If you think you can give a good solution, just go to the bottom and you can type your answer here. Here, let's see how we can use these things to make the question looking very good. I'm just typing hello, right? So you can able to see in the bottom, this come like a normal text. So after I select this text, I select this, you can able to see this is you know code sample right so if i click here you can see that's changing like coding part right so after that i don't want this coding part i just select i delete this one okay so i just select this is how we want to use stack of law right so here I just click the stack of law and give the format as code format and I select the how and I click the bold part right you can able to see right this is like good format right so if we won't add any links right so we have to select this one see I select this is I select the this and I click the link and here we want to paste the link right so i just copy this question link for the example right i paste it here and i added link right so if i click here that will navigate to that link right as usual right so and some other things as well right in order to add the image we have to select this one and there are two options right so we can browse the image right so i just click the image which i created to make this youtube video thumbnail i just open this one if i click add picture that will give one link right so you can see this is the image link right so you can we can able to see the preview as well right this is perfect right other than that some other format as well right so in javascript and html code snippet right so we can if we use this one this will look like very perfect answer right so you can see the, this person using this as like bold text and this is for the coding part right so other than that the one major thing is missing that is this part right so i type my name here and my youtube channel name programming makes sense right so after i select this one this is a powerful one right so after if i click this a block cut you can see this is come like this right that's perfect thing right so there are so many amazing thing in the see i click the prasad my name and i click the italic see the perfect manner right actually stack of law having like good facility to ask the question and answer the question right so let's see how we can ask a question right so in order to ask a question we have to go to the top and in the option you can see right the ask question right i just click the ask question so it's asking to leave the site because so i did some changes in the bottom right so i just leave the site and this is nothing you will not get this kind of things because i created one uh, the private group in the stack of law so here I just type one question right how to declare array in dart right 
so I want to know how to declare array in dot so usually we have to see the documentation right so let's see I just type type this one for just for the example right so how to declare array in dot right this is saying there are so many questions related to our questions right so this is our question here we have to describe our questions right so I just can describe like this I want to declare a array in dart right what I'm going to do is dart is a language right so I just make this one as capital and I select this one change this one as a coding right so you can see dart so if the program is the first point of view he can identify this is a programmatic keyword right so so actually the programmatic keyword is this one right yeah I forgot that one array and I remove this dot and I like highlighted this one right bold so we have to submit our code snippet which we tried before right so I'm going to declare one array variable a equal and array right a comma b so you can see this is come like this uh, like a text format right so i don't want this one i select this one i click that code part right so you can able to see right this is perfect right so then i have to add the tags right so you can see dot right so i just uh, type dot so in the bottom you can able to see all the tags which is related to the dot and if you want to add the tag just put comma so it's automatically add or else you can type dot and select the tag right then I want to type array so which is related to the array then I can click or else I just type array and put a comma so this is the way we have to ask a question right I hope you guys you like my video and click the like button and subscribe my channel and share with your friends and thank you so much. So this is my YouTube channel guys if you like the video hit the like button and comment it and subscribe the channel.